Hey everyone. everyone! My name is Nadine Yusuf and I'll be returning as news editor for the rest of the year. This week in news, CUSA elections are well underway. On Tuesday we have the All Candidates Debate and our Shadow Week volunteers, Olivia Carey and Matteo Peralta, live tweeted and wrote about the event. As well, we'll be breaking the results of the CUSA election Thursday night on charlatan.ca. And there has been an increasing number of reported car break-ins on campus. Amanda Volmerhausen followed up with that. And that's this week in news. Hey guys, this week in national faculty at the University of Moncton have been angered over a promotional video and a letter from Napoleon was found at Brock University. All that and more this week in national. Hey guys, this week in features, Kate Hawkins looks at how Carlton measures up in addressing sexual assault on campus. And we also have a timeline showing how it's evolved over time. Make sure you check it out this week in features. This week in op-ed, Adam Stone analyzes a report from the Mental Health Commission of Canada talking about self-harm among college students. And Spencer Perry looks at blazers in the men's style blog. All that and more in op-ed. This week in arts, Meredith Powell reports from a pixel party and Clarissa Fortin heads to the new exhibit at the School of Photographic Arts, Ottawa. And that's this week in arts. Hey guys, this week in sports, Caitlin Hart wrote a story on the nominees for the Ottawa Sports Awards, including the men's basketball team and the women's curling team. And Eric Elliott wrote a game report on men's hockey. That's this week in sports. Hey guys, this week in multimedia, Lou Carroll spoke to Carleton students about what they really think about student politics. And check out an interactive timeline for features on how Carleton's been dealing with sexual assault on campus throughout the years. All that and more this week in The Charlatan.